Hey guys, Tess here. Quick wreath update. I could officially call it a wreath because I have my first corals. Well, coral. Well, I mean, it has many polyps so far. But anyways, this is the green star polyp. It's my favorite coral, and I was pleasantly surprised to find out that it's actually considered a hardy beginner coral. Other than that, you've already seen, I have two juvenile clowns swimming over there. I have a long spine sea urchin which is cleaning up the tank beautifully. Thank you Spike. I appreciate it. Uh, he's, I mean, long spines get to be pretty big with their spines. Get to be about 10 inches. And that's going to be a little bit too large for my nano so I'm eventually going to rehome him. But for right now he's doing what I need him to do. Mr. Krabs is out and about. <laughs> and these fish, they're captive bred. They're very friendly. I mean, I guess as friendly as a fish could be. They don't hide when there's company around. They're always out swimming, goofing off. I love clownfish. They're definitely the wackiest fish I've ever owned. Um, other than that, I mean, nothing else is going on, really. I have Benny, my black brittle star that you guys will probably never see. Except uh, my other video when it, before he went back into, or er, when he established his home. Sorry, that was my first day when I got him. <clears throat> yeah, I wouldn't let go of my finger. And now he's pretty good. I uh, I can hand feed him some shrimp. Grab it with my fingers and then he'll come out and wrap around and pull it back under his home. And <laughs> It's actually really neat when he's done. Uh, whatever waste product he has, you know, poop and uh, any scraps, he'll like pack it together in a ball and with his um, appendages just kind of like push it out and then I pick it up and clean it. Really cool. I really enjoy the tank. It's a lot of fun. So I do have one issue though and it's this. Water clarity. I do not know what's going on here. I don't know. I mean, I think it's micro bubbles. I just, for the life of me, I, I can't figure out how to get rid of them. I mean, my parameters are good. I don't know if parameters would affect anything, but I do test for alkalinity, pH, nitrite, nitrates, uh, ammonia. And those are all within perfect range. I even, before I picked up the coral, I even had a... Uh, the pet store test and make sure that my water parameters were perfect for the coral. So, I don't know. He said everything was on point. And then in the back chambers, I, I run the um, Tunzi 9001 protein skimmer, and I also have the in tank media basket with polyfilter floss, uh, Chemi Pure, and Purigen. So, I don't know. I mean, none of that seems to be helping with the water clarity. I, I don't know what to do about it. If any of you guys have, like, a recommendation or know what I could do, that would be great. Although I am going to go to the pet store again today and pick up some more rocks because I want to make this a small island so that my, uh, my little corals can just encrust all over it. I put it up here, but I knew I would never get it off, and then it would take over my nano tank, and it would just... <laughs> I don't want just green star polyps. As cool as they are, I'd like them on their own little island, and that'd be it. So, if any of you guys could help me out, give me some ideas... I don't know. That would be much appreciated. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy. I can't wait to update you guys once I get some more corals in here. See you later.